Hi guys, I am Rishit Shah from Tally School and in this video we are going to learn how you can create a company in Tally with GST enabled. So we are going to learn how you can create a new company in Tally along with all the GST options that you need to start a successful business or to create accounting entries for a business having GST. So I am already in Tally in a company called Tally School in which I've already enabled quite a lot of options which are order vouchers, payroll vouchers, audit and compliance. So this is an old company and I've already enabled GST options as well. But I am going to show you exactly how to create a new company along with all the GST options that are required that are necessary for a business for accounting purposes and obviously for GST purposes. So first of all I am going to shut this company or close this company by clicking on shut company option and then from this menu I will go to create a company option and press enter. Then I will create a new company called Tally School with GST. You can enter your company's name or your client's name whatever the legal name that you are required to enter then press enter and mailing name will be the name to which you can send mails or necessary papers so generally the mailing name and the name of the company are same but if it is different you can enter a different name then you can enter the address in the primary mailing details the address of the company press enter select country whichever is applicable to you or your client or your company so i am selecting india but in the newest version of tally there are two more options which were not found in the older versions which is new and none so the none option in the list of countries is applicable if none of the countries listed in this list is applicable to you you can select none and if there is a country which is not in this list you can click on new and enter the name of your country so these are the two new options that are introduced in the latest version of tally erp9 so i'll be selecting india because my country is india now press enter and you will come to the state option now again you can select uh, your state from this list of states but if none of the states is applicable to you you can also select not applicable so i am selecting gujarat and this not applicable option is also new but right now I am selecting Gujarat then you can enter the pin code so my pin code is 395009 and then you can enter all the contact details like phone number, mobile number, fax number, email and website so I am going to directly website and typing my website www.tallyschool.com and press enter so now you might have seen that I have not entered the address, I have not entered the phone number, mobile number, fax, email, all the contact details because they are not mandatory or necessary for the creation of a company. Of course they are required, some of the details are required like address is required for GST purposes inside Tally. So if you are in a hurry or if you want to create a company very fast, you have no time then you can just skip all these details you can even skip the website details you can even skip the pin code you can skip the address and just create a company very fast and then start doing accounting entries but if you are not in a hurry you can enter all these details you can also enter all these details after creating the company so firstly create a company very fast if you are in a hurry and then add the details later you can also do that now books and financial year details so financial year beginning from 1 4 2020 this is the date this is first april of every year so right now this year first april will be first april 2020 that is where the financial year begins from this date we pick up from the income tax law in our country so 1 4 2020 then press enter books beginning from this generally means that the day on which you started your business which means that from that day 
you are going to do your accounting you are going to do your transactions and that's why from that date accounting transactions will also happen or accounting will also happen so let's say i started my business from 1st june so i'll select 1st june 2020 because from that date only i'll write my books of accounts so that's why books beginning from press enter Televolt password now this is the password which you have to enter every time you open up your company so i'm just keeping the security controls right now i'm not entering anything because that is a whole new that is a different function and that will require quite a lot of time to explain but in simple terms it is a password which you can put if you want to password protect your company so i am just skipping use security controls the security control is different from the above password this is for tss features which are used if you want to access tally online or access some of the reports from the browser so i'll just skip this as well and come to paste currency symbol which is the rupee symbol formal name inr suffix nothing so nothing will appear after the digits or after the amounts it will always before the amount add space between amount and symbol yes show amount in millions no so if you are habituated with seeing digits in millions that is comma after every three digits then you can select this option as yes but in india we are generally habituated to seeing the amounts especially the financial amounts in crores or lakhs or thousands so we will not see it in millions so i'll select it to no number of decimal places two which means after the point how many decimal places so if there is a transaction for let's say 50 rupees and 47 paise so then it will only be reflected till 47 even if it is let's say 50 rupees and 4785 paise it will be shortened down to 47 or 48 paise then word representing after the decimal it is paise before decimal it is rupees so 100 rupees 45 paise that's how we say in india and number of decimal places for amount in words that is also two so 100 rupees and 45 paise the four and so 40 and 5 will be written in words as well and press enter to accept so now we have created the company called tally school with gst but if i show you right now if you try to enter anything related to gst you will not see any of the options so let's say for example i want to create a ledger and i want i am going into accounts info then ledgers and then create so you can see here you will nowhere see the gst details generally they are here under the tax registration details but you will not see it because we have not enabled the necessary or essential gst functions required for accounting with gst in tally so now what we will do is we will go to a specific option and enable gst that is what i call creating a company with gst in tally so as soon as you create a new company in tally now the first thing you do is enable gst because almost all of the businesses the gst is applicable on them so first thing we will do is go into features after creating company you go into features then go into statutory and taxation and the first option you will see is gst so press y for yes and press enter then again set all the gst details press y and press enter now you can see the gst details all the gst details which are necessary or which are essential without which you cannot do your gst accounting entries properly remember that anything you enter here or anything you delete from here will be applicable to the entire company and not just to a particular ledger or a particular transaction it will be applicable to the entire company so anything you do here do it only if you know it or do it with very much care so first thing state is gujarat so i'll select state is gujarat now registration type if your registration is composition you must select composition or else regular which is generally regular SSE of other territory we will select to know and generally it is no because we are the SSEs of taxable territory 
GST applicable from 1st June 2020. Now this date 1st June 2020 came from the date which we have selected for the books beginning from while creating the company. So if we are starting the business from 1st June 2020, that means generally our GST is also applicable from 1st June 2020. In rare cases, it may be applicable before that, but they are very rare cases. Now GST in UIN, you must enter your GST in or UIN, whatever you have. Otherwise, it will show an error. Tally will show an error. So if I press enter, you can see it. GST in UIN not specified and it is showing the error. So I'm just skipping this right now because I don't have the GST in. If you have the GST in, you should enter here because that particular number will be applicable all on the entire company. It will be reflected on all your accounting books, on all your invoices, on all the reports and on all the returns. Now periodicity, depending on your turnover, either it is monthly or quarterly. So let's select it quarterly then eWable applicable yes or no generally it is yes so i'll select yes eWable applicable from 1st june 2020 now again if you are starting the business from 1st june that means obviously the eWable will also be applicable from 1st june press enter and threshold limit includes invoice value taxable and exempt goods value or taxable goods value normally it is invoice value so i'll select invoice value threshold limit is 50000 so select 50000 if threshold limit is different you can easily change it here like this 60,000 but I'll keep it to 50,000 then applicable for intrastate so if in your state inside the state movement also the eWable is applicable then you must select this option to yes so let's say you are in Gujarat and from Surat to Ahmedabad also eWable is applicable then you have to select here yes and set the threshold limit as per your state so I'm selecting 50,000 as per the state I am in and enable tax liability on advance receipts this option is not applicable anymore now because on advance receipt the tax liability is not enabled or tax liability is not required anymore now but this option is available because at one point of time it was there now we have to the tax liability only arises at the time of issue of invoice or delivery of goods now enable tax liability on reverse charge purchase from unregistered dealer so if you are purchasing from an unregistered dealer you have to pay the gst instead of the unregistered dealer and that is called gst or tax liability under reverse charge so i'll select it yes because if you are let's say purchasing from a dealer or a buyer who is unregistered then you have to pay the tax and you have to do the entry on the basis of that and for that this option is used set alter gst rate details i will not set or alter gst rate details here because if i set or alter the gst rate details here it will be applicable on the entire company so one specific rate of gst will be applicable on the entire company which i don't want I want to select different rates for different products, different rates for different ledgers as well. So I'll keep it to no here. Enable GST classifications. I'll set it to yes. GST classifications is a beautiful feature of Tally using which you don't have to enter all the rate details every time you create a ledger or you create a stock item. You just enter the classification and all the rate details, all the GST details will be automatically picked up from that classification. Let's say you create a classification for 18%, then you don't have to enter all the details of 9% CGST, 9% SGST and like that. You just select the classification and 18% details will be applicable on that ledger or stock item or whatever. Provide LUT bond details. This is letter of undertaking or bond if you have done with the government regarding GST which is also rare unless you are exporting or importing or something like that so i'll keep it to no and accept now we have entered all the details we have saved it but one more time you have to save it to put the details or put whatever we have entered right now into effect in the entire tally or in the entire company not an entire tally but in your entire company which is 
tally school with gst so once again don't press escape from here press accept from here here is the button many people mistake by pressing escape from here in a hurry i have also done that and then i didn't got the details applicable so i press accept from here and now the details are saved now if i show you accounts info and then go to ledgers and then create we will see here tax registration details previously it was only pen or it number now we can see the registration type which is the gst details and gstin and set alter gst details options if i go to inventory info and then go to stock items and then create we can also see the gst details here so you can see the gst details sorry you can only see the gst details if you have enabled after creating the company creating a company is just not enough to see all the gst details in your tally or in your company you have to enable it and nowadays every business on every business gst is applicable so you must follow this process first create a company and then enable gst details as soon as you create a company and that will be very beneficial and that is the best way to create accounting entries with gst in tally because the first time you create a company no entries are done in that and so at that time enabling gst will be the best option so this is what i was going to explain this is what i wanted to explain by saying that how you can create a company in tally with gst details so this is how you can create a company along with gst as soon as you create a company if you have any questions regarding tally regarding gst regarding gst in tally regarding any functionality of tally you can always comment down below and i will try my best to help you out if you like the video please subscribe to tally school and always sorry and obviously like this video share this video and for the comments i've already told you that you can comment down below anything you want you can also comment a small thank you which i will obviously like it so thank you very much for watching this video i will see you in the next video